The Israeli-Palestinian conflict has been a long-standing and deeply entrenched issue in the Middle East, with both sides locked in a seemingly endless cycle of violence and tension. Over the years, various international actors have attempted to mediate and broker peace between Israel and Palestine, but achieving a lasting resolution has proven to be an elusive goal. In recent times, Russia has emerged as a significant player in the region, and its involvement has sparked intrigue and concern, especially regarding its warnings to Israel in the Gaza-Palestine context. This article delves into the details of Russia's shocking warning to Israel, exploring the context, implications, and potential consequences of this development. Before delving into Russia's warning to Israel in Gaza-Palestine, it is essential to understand Russia's increasing influence in the Middle East. Historically, the United States has been the dominant external player in the region, with a strong alliance with Israel. However, in recent years Russia has stepped up its involvement in the Middle East, particularly in Syria. Moscow's support for Syrian President Bashar al-Assad during the civil war not only helped stabilize the Assad regime, but also solidified Russia's presence in the region. Russia's influence in the Middle East extends beyond Syria, as it seeks to assert itself as a major player in the broader regional dynamics. One key aspect of this strategy is Moscow's engagement with various actors in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, which has raised eyebrows and generated significant attention. The Gaza Strip a narrow piece of land on the eastern Mediterranean coast, has been a focal point of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict for decades. Controlled by the Palestinian militant group Hamas since 2007, Gaza has faced numerous challenges, including economic hardship, infrastructure deterioration, and political isolation. Israel maintains a blockade on Gaza, citing security concerns which has exacerbated the humanitarian crisis in the territory. Escalating tensions between Israel and Hamas have led to sporadic outbreaks of violence, including military conflicts such as Operation Cast Lead in 2008 to 2009, Operation Pillar of Defense in 2012, and Operation Protective Edge in 2014. In May 2021, the region witnessed another intense bout of violence, marked by rocket attacks from Gaza and Israeli airstrikes, which lasted for 11 days and left hundreds dead not to mention the attacks in the last month after Hamas's attack on Israel. In this volatile context, Russia's involvement and its subsequent warning to Israel have raised questions about its intentions and its potential to influence the situation. Russia's warning to Israel in the Gaza-Palestine context came as a surprise to many observers. While Russia had previously maintained diplomatic relations with both Israel and Palestine, its intervention in the conflict was seen as a departure from its usual stance of advocating for a two-state solution through negotiation. The warning, delivered by Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, urged Israel to exercise restraint in its military actions against Gaza and called for a ceasefire. Lavrov's statement emphasized the need to avoid civilian casualties and to respect international law. This move was seen as a clear signal of Russia's intent to play a more active role in mediating the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. To understand the significance of Russia's warning to Israel, it is crucial to consider the broader context and the potential implications of this development. Russia's involvement in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict reflects its broader geopolitical ambitions in the Middle East. By positioning itself as a mediator and advocate for peace, Russia seeks to increase its influence in the region and challenge the traditional dominance of the United States. Russia's warning to Israel signals its willingness to expand its diplomatic footprint in the Middle East. Moscow has been engaging with various actors, including Hamas and the Palestinian Authority, and this move may pave the way for increased involvement in regional diplomacy. Russia's warning puts a strain on its relations with Israel which have been relatively cordial in recent years. Israel has traditionally enjoyed strong ties with the United States, and Russia's interference in the conflict may lead to a reassessment of its relationship with Moscow. Russia's willingness to mediate in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict could have both positive and negative outcomes. On one hand, Russia's involvement may provide fresh perspectives and opportunities for dialogue. On the other hand, it could complicate efforts by other mediators, such as the United States and the United Nations. Russia's emphasis on avoiding civilian casualties and respecting international law in its warning to Israel underscores the humanitarian dimension of the conflict. 
This may resonate with international actors concerned about the suffering of civilians in Gaza and put pressure on Israel to address these issues. The shocking nature of Russia's warning to Israel in the Gaza-Palestine context raises several potential consequences that could reshape the dynamics of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the broader Middle East region. Russia's involvement may prompt Israel to reevaluate its alliances and seek stronger support from other traditional allies, such as the United States. This could lead to a reconfiguration of regional power dynamics. While Russia's mediation efforts may offer a new avenue for dialogue, they could also complicate existing peace initiatives led by other actors. Coordination among mediators will be crucial to avoid conflicting approaches. Russia's emphasis on humanitarian concerns may open doors for increased international aid and efforts to reconstruct Gaza. This could help alleviate the dire living conditions in the territory. Russia's warning may strengthen the position of Hamas and other Palestinian factions as they seek international recognition and support. This could further fragment Palestinian politics. Russia's involvement in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict could become another point of contention in its relations with the United States. The two powers have clashed on various international issues, and this development may add to their disagreements. In the wake of Russia's warning to Israel regarding the Gaza-Palestine situation, various international actors and stakeholders have responded with a mix of curiosity, caution, and concern. These reactions provide additional context and shed light on how the global community views Russia's growing involvement in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The United States, traditionally a staunch ally of Israel, has reacted with a degree of skepticism regarding Russia's role in the conflict. While the U.S. remains committed to a two-state solution, it views Russia's intervention as potentially complicating efforts to bring both parties back to the negotiating table. The U.S. has reiterated its commitment to Israel's security while expressing concerns about Russia's alignment with Hamas, a group considered a terrorist organization by both Israel and the United States. The European Union has taken a more cautious approach, welcoming any efforts aimed at reducing violence and promoting a ceasefire in Gaza. EU leaders have emphasized the importance of a comprehensive peace settlement and have not explicitly endorsed or condemned Russia's involvement. The EU continues to advocate for a negotiated two-state solution. The United Nations has long been involved in mediating the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, and Secretary General Antonio Guterres has expressed a willingness to work with any actor that can contribute to de-escalation and peace efforts. The UN has called for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and stressed the need to address humanitarian and reconstruction needs in the region. Various regional actors, including Arab countries, have welcomed Russia's involvement as a potential avenue for advancing Palestinian interests and ending the cycle of violence. The Arab League has expressed support for Russia's mediation efforts while also emphasizing the importance of Palestinian unity. Israel has responded to Russia's warning with caution. Israeli officials have stated that they appreciate Russia's interest in the situation, but remain committed to their security interests and the protection of Israeli civilians. Israel has also emphasized its willingness to engage in talks, but only if Hamas ceases its rocket attacks. The Palestinian response to Russia's warning has been mixed. While the Palestinian Authority has expressed appreciation for any international efforts to address the crisis, Hamas, which controls Gaza, has welcomed Russia's involvement and sees it as a potential avenue for international recognition and support. Humanitarian organizations, including the Red Cross and various NGOs, have welcomed Russia's focus on humanitarian concerns and the need to avoid civilian casualties. They have called for unrestricted access to Gaza to provide essential aid and assistance to the population. Russia's shocking warning to Israel in the Gaza-Palestine context is a significant development that highlights the evolving dynamics of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and Russia's expanding role in the Middle East. While the warning underscores Russia's desire to assert itself as a mediator and advocate for peace, it also carries implications for regional alliances, peace efforts, and humanitarian concerns. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a video.